Anterior ischemic optic neuropathy ion is a medical condition involving loss of vision caused by damage to the optic nerve as a result of insufficient blood supply ischemia. This form of ischemic optic neuropathy is generally categorized as two types, arteritic ion or AAION, in which the loss of vision is the result of an inflammatory disease of arteries in the head called temporal arteritis, and non-arteritic ion abbreviated as NAION, or sometimes simply as ion, which is due to non-inflammatory disease of small blood vessels. Topic: Symptoms. NAION typically presents suddenly upon awakening. The afflicted person notes seeing poorly in one eye. Vision in that eye is obscured by a dark shadow, often involving just the upper or lower half of vision, usually the area closer to the nose. There is no pain. Within approximately six months following the infarct, visual acuity improves by three or more lines of vision on the Snellen chart the chart with smaller letters on each lower line in 42.7% of patients, while in 12.4% of patients, vision worsens by three lines. Opposite eye involvement occurs in approximately 15% to 20% of patients with NAION within five years. It is not always devastating as visual acuity may remain only moderately impaired. Furthermore, most cases of NAION involve the loss of a hemifield either the upper or lower half of the visual field, but not both. A few cases of NAION involve near total loss of vision. <laughs> Risk factors The mechanism of injury for NAION used to be quite controversial. However, experts in the field have come to a consensus that most cases involve two main risk factors. The first is a predisposition in the form of a type of optic disc shape. The optic disc is where the axons from the retinal ganglion cells collect into the optic nerve. The optic nerve is the bundle of axons that carry the visual signals from the eye to the brain. This optic nerve must penetrate through the wall of the eye, and the hole to accommodate this is usually 20-30% larger than the nerve diameter. In some patients the optic nerve is nearly as large as the opening in the back of the eye, and the optic disc appears «crowded» when seen by ophthalmoscopy. A crowded disc is also referred to as a «disc at risk». While a risk factor, the vast majority of individuals with crowded discs do not experience NAION. The second major risk factor involves more general cardiovascular risk factors. The most common are diabetes, hypertension, and high cholesterol levels. While these factors predispose a patient to develop NAION, the most common precipitating factor is marked fall of blood pressure during sleep nocturnal arterial hypotension that is why at least 75% of the patients first discover visual loss first on waking from sleep. These vascular risk factors lead to ischemia poor blood supply to a portion of the optic disc. 
The disc then swells, and in a crowded optic disc, this leads to compression and more ischemia. Since both eyes tend to have a similar shape, the optometrist or ophthalmologist will look at the good eye to assess the anatomical predisposition. The unaffected eye has a 14.7% risk of NAION within five years. A number of uncontrolled single case or small number of patient reports have associated NAION with use of oral erectile dysfunction drugs. Topic: <laughs> Diagnosis. <laughs> 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 Since arteritic ion is similar in presentation to non-arteritic ion, patients over the age of 50 diagnosed with NAION must be evaluated to exclude AAION symptoms, painful jaw muscle spasms, scalp tenderness, unintentional weight loss, fatigue, myalgias and loss of appetite. NAION patients over the age of 75 should always be tested. The distinction between AAION and non-arteritic ion was made to highlight the different etiologies of anterior ischemic optic neuropathy. AAION is due to temporal arteritis, also called giant cell arteritis, an inflammatory disease of medium-sized blood vessels, Chapel Hill Conference, that occurs especially with advancing age. In contrast, NAION results from the coincidence of cardiovascular risk factors in a patient with crowded optic discs. Non-arteritic ion is more common than AAION and usually occurs in slightly younger persons. While only a few cases of NAION result in near total loss of vision, most cases of AAION result in nearly complete vision loss. Nonarteritic anterior ischemic optic neuropathy is an isolated white matter stroke of the optic nerve. On. NAION is the most common cause of sudden optic nerve-related vision loss, affecting more than 10,000 Americans every year, often bilaterally. No clinically effective treatments exist, largely because little is known about its pathophysiology, and there are few histopathological studies of the acute condition. An exhaustive review article published in March 2009 described the latest information on arteritic and non arteritic ischemic optic neuropathy, both anterior a ion and, na ion and posterior. A Pion, na pion, and surgical. Topic Treatment Once NAION happens, it was thought that there was no accepted treatment to reverse the damage. However, a recent uncontrolled retrospective large study has shown that if patients are treated with large doses of corticosteroid therapy during the early stages of NAION, in eyes with initial visual acuity of 2070ths or worse, seen within two weeks of onset, there was visual acuity improvement in 70% in the treated group compared to 41% in the untreated group odds ratio of improvement 3.39 95% c 1.62 7.11 p 1 quarter 0.001 that study and a natural history study on NAION ophthalmology 2008 115 to 298 minus 305 showed that visual acuity can improve up to 6 months and not after that. To minimize the risk of further visual loss in the fellow eye or the same eye, it is essential to reduce the risk factors. 
Common sense dictates trying to control the cardiovascular risk factors for many reasons, including protection from this happening to the second eye. Sudden vision loss should lead to an ophthalmological consultation. If NAION is suspected, then ideally a neuro ophthalmologist's consultation should be obtained. A recent Cochrane review sought to determine the extent of safety and efficacy of optic nerve decompression surgery for NAION, compared to other treatments, or no treatment. The one study included in the review found no improvements in visual acuity among patients who underwent surgery for NAION, and adverse events pain, double vision experienced by participants who underwent surgery. There is much research currently underway looking at ways to protect the nerve neuroprotection or even regenerate new fibers within the optic nerve. So far there is no evidence in human studies that the so-called neuroprotectors have any beneficial effect in NAION. However, there is a new current clinical trial for the treatment of NAION in the United States with plans to include sites in India, Israel, Germany and Australia see nordiclinicaltrials.com and https colon slash slash clinicaltrials.gov slash closing parenthesis dot this trial will test the use of a synthetic CERNA that blocks caspase II, an important enzyme in the apoptosis cycle. In addition to such research, patents have been applied for by Pfizer, the University of Southern California, Otsuka Pharmaceutical and other individual inventors for innovations related to the treatment of anterior ischemic optic neuropathy. Topic Incidents. It is estimated that the incidence of ion in the U.S. is about 8,000 persons per year. <laughs> 